Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be back on the air with you one more time. Very short thought. The first one got a couple here for Tuesday. Freedom was and is not free. Someone paid for it. Being thankful should be a part of our daily living every day. Every day, not just one day, not just occasionally, but every single day should be a day that we're thankful for Jesus Christ, that we're thankful for the lives that he's placed in our lives, for the people he has surrounded us with. So let this day be a day, my friend, that you're thankful for your freedom he whom the Son is made free is free indeed. That Son made you free. Through His blood, through His grace, through His mercy, you walk as a free man. So be thankful for it. My prayer for you today is that He would grant you according to the riches of His glory to be strengthened with might by His Spirit in the inner man. That's what Paul wrote to the Ephesians in 3 and 16. It is the strength of what is in us that equips us to complete what is set before us. Reliance on any other source will only produce a temporary fix. Depend on what he has given you and you shall win because God gives something to you permanent. He does not bless you temporarily. He wants you to walk free permanently. He wants you to walk full of joy, full of grace and mercy and goodness at all times. You have that abiding within you. We often quote it, but it is so worth being quoted. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Doesn't matter what's going on around you. God's got it. God's got it. And he's invested in you. He dwells alive on the inside of you. So depend on his power as you face any hour and you will come out victorious. God love you. God bless you. Tomorrow, we'll be running down this road again. Go in God's grace.